Hey, Tubies. It's Psychic Bob. Well, it is so good to be with you. Well, it's Saturday night. I know it's a little late. Uh, I usually get out a video earlier, but Psychic Bob's been busy all day. I've been doing a lot of readings, private readings. I want to say thank you to all of you who've been calling for private sessions. I've had such a good time meeting with you guys. And uh, if you're watching this tonight and you're curious about a reading, give me a call. 703-825-3929. We'll get you on the schedule. Uh, my private readings are an hour long. We cover everything. Past, present, future, spirit guides, messages from departed friends and loved ones. We look at your life theme, what your mission is here. All of that and answer all your questions. So I'd love to get you on the schedule. Well, today I was going to do our spiritualist class, but I realized I left all my spiritualist books at home. And I've just been maxed out. I haven't even got a chance to sit down and do it do a video till now. So I thought tonight, you know, as I told you, we're going to do kind of a different format just for this week. We do something different. And so I brought along one of my favorite magical tools. This is an easy one to travel with. This is my black scrying mirror. And you guys have been here before, been with me while I know about this, but the black mirror is a wonderful and mystical tool of divination. It will help you to connect to the spirit world. You can use it for magic. And you know, we're right at the time of the full moon. And so last night we had our full moon. And you know, tonight is also the night of the full moon. It lasts three days. So we're still at the time of the full moon. And um, I thought maybe we would do a little bit of a scrying session tonight to see if we can connect with some spirit beings. And, uh, you know, I've set up a little table here, which we're going to use. Uh, got a little table with some candles on it. Let's see if I can turn this so you guys can see it. And we're going to light some candles, and uh, we're going to have a little session here. And I thought you guys would enjoy this. You know, I was reading here in my Scott Cunningham book. Um, <clears throat> I'm not being endorsed by Llewellyn. But uh, this is my Scott Cunningham book, which I always read, Wicca, a Guide for the Solitary Practitioner. I recommend this book for you guys. If you are starting out on the path of mystical studies and want to learn, this is a great book you can't go wrong with. So I'm going to encourage you to explore this, okay? Um, but Scott Cunningham talks about the magic of scrying at the full moon. And uh, he has a ritual in here called the Full Moon Rite. I'm not going to read the whole ritual, but he talks about, um, you know, gazing at the moon and being open to prayer. And then he says, you know, after you do some chanting, you might want to do some meditation and, and scrying. And he says, and I'm going to just read a little passage here from this. And uh, it says, full moons are also excellent times for meditation mirror magic, and psychic workings. For such are often more successful within the circle. Crystal scrying is particularly recommended. Well, we don't have our crystal ball tonight, but you know what? The mirror, the magic mirror, serves the same purpose as the crystal. It's a device, it's a portal that you can go into the other world with. So why don't you guys gather around and let's have a mystical black mirror seance. Come on along. Now, Tubies, um, I've set up my little area here for our scrying session. And when you do scrying, I would encourage you, you know, if whether you're using a, a black mirror or a crystal ball or a cauldron, you can use all of those. Um, have dim lighting. I like to use candlelight. And um, I put my candles, I've got three candles here in a triangle shape. I call this the triangle of manifestation. I find that magically having your candles in a triangle, help, it helps to generate power to make a connection. And, uh, you know, all you got to do is have your scrying device and some candles. And, uh, you know, it's really simple. So what we're going to do now is, uh, by the way, when you set your mirror, I went to tell you, set it so you're not reflecting candles. Like, see there, you can see the candle. Set it so it's filled, as you can see, this is, is a deep black, and you're not seeing anything in it. And you may have to play around with your candles to adjust them to get a, 
a good feel, but that's essential to, to help with scrying. So just set your candles and um, you know get ready. One of the things I like to do before I start scrying is do an invocation. So I thought we'd do a brief invocation to the great goddess and the great God. So join with me. Mother, Father, God, on this night of the full moon, we invite you to be present. Open the door between the worlds and let us commune with you and with all the spirits that come. We welcome those spirits of goodness and light. We welcome our loved ones, friends, masters, teachers, and guides, and any great and powerful spirit that wishes to enlighten us. We thank you for this night of gathering, and may this door to the other world, we ask that it now be opened. In the name of the great mother goddess of the night of the full moon, and in the Lord, the horned one, the eternal sun god, so mote it be. So mote it be. Now what you got to do is just settle down and start to look. Now when you scry, you don't want to strain. You want to make it very relaxed. You might have to adjust your scrying portal a little bit so you get a depth, a clear feel. But just relax and look within and, and you're sure to get something. It might take a little while, but let's look. So let's settle down. We're going to draw our attention now to the mystic portal. The door to the spiritual world. Thank you, Mother. You know, guys, as I'm looking within, I'm seeing the most beautiful woodland scene. I see beautiful grassy green field and a lot of trees and a pathway that's beckoning me to walk up it. So I'm going to walk through it. Now, you know, when you're scrying, you can literally use this as a doorway. See yourself going through it and know that you will enter into a spiritual dimension. Let it be your doorway. So let us walk through the doorway. Wow. You know, as I'm walking through the doorway, the first thing that I'm very conscious of is that I'm hearing wind. I'm getting literally wind rushing around me. It's a soft breeze, but I can hear the trees moving. I hear the grasses moving. And you know, as I'm looking through the woodland, I can see moonlight filtering down through the trees. And I keep seeing movement. These are the Fey people. I can see them. You know, this is amazing. I'm seeing little Fey people. And they at first I thought they were fireflies, but they're not. They're, they're fairies. This is really a blessing. Now, be prepared when you scry. You could encounter otherworldly beings. It may not just be spirits or departed loved ones. I wasn't thinking about the Fey, but here they are. I'm seeing them through the mirror. Just observe, you know, take your time. You don't have, don't be afraid to walk through the portal. And as I'm walking through, I can see the, the moonlight filtering down. It's a silver light in this forest. I can see face sprinting. The wind is so beautiful. It's so tranquil here, so powerful. Just go through it. As I'm walking, I can hear the grass beneath my feet. I feel it, in fact. While you're in your portal, look to see how you're dressed. And as I look down, I can see that I'm wearing a beautiful robe, a black robe, a Wiccan robe. I have my purple cord on. I'm hearing voices. You know, sometimes you'll hear voices when you open the portal. And it's funny, I hear little laughter. It sounds like fey people laughing. And I think they're laughing because they can tell I've kind of wandered in here. Now, you know, it's interesting. I'm looking ahead and I see somebody. There's a woman. I can see her. And it's funny, she's looking, she's staring at me like she knows that I've come into her world. 
She's an older woman. She has long, silvery gray hair. She's dressed in brown robes. He's, she looks very witch-like. She has a staff in her hand. You know, it's interesting. She's turning. I can see it's a stang. It's a forked prong staff, a stang. She's smiling at me. She's older, but very beautiful. Beautiful blue eyes. And she raises her hand, and she's beckoning me, like, come to me, come to me. I can see her as clear as day. And I'm approaching her. I can still hear the wind. This is so three-dimensional. You guys cannot imagine how clear this is tonight. The conditions are ripe for opening the door. And I'm approaching her. She's holding in her hand a beautiful apple. And what's interesting, she's opening the apple was sliced in two. I didn't realize it, but she opened it. And she's showing me the sign of the star, the pentagram inside of the apple. And I hear her saying, our mother's sign, our mother's sign. So this is the sign of the goddess. I'm going to try to talk to her. Ma'am, can you hear me? She's nodding. She said, yes, I hear you. I've come into your world from the outer world. She said, I've welcomed you in. What is it that you wish to share with me? And she said, it is the truth of the goddess. She dwells within your heart, and like the seeds within this apple, the great mother resides within you. She is not far from you. She is within you. As you are within this world, so you are within your heart and within her heart. All of the hearts are connected. That's the word she's saying to me. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, thank you. She said to me, she said, I know that you've been seeking a stang like my staff. I'm telling her, yes, I have. So she's literally putting the stang into my hand. I can feel it. And she says, hold on to this and make your wish. Make your wish for your stang to come to you, and it will. Wise woman, I don't know your name. She said, make your wish. Wise woman, bring to me my stang, my magic stang to help me on my journey. She says, now hand it back to me. So I'm handing the stang back to her. And she says, there, it's that simple. It will come to you in the coming weeks. Thank you. What is your name? She says, you can call me Kezra. K-E-Z-R-A, is that her Kezra? And she said, yes, you can call me Kezra. Kezra, thank you. She says, feel free to walk among our beautiful woodlands. Bask in the silver light of the mother. She is with you always. And you can call on me. I will help you to come back to this world at any time. Thank you, Kezra. Now she's turning and walking down the path away from me. And it's funny, it's like as she goes in the darkness, she's fading. And I'm looking around through this port. I can see the stars at the night. I can see the trees. There are a lot of tall, I think they're silver birch trees. I'll have to find out what birch trees mean, particularly silver birch. But these are silver birch trees I'm seeing. It's so beautiful. The grass is like an emerald green. I can see it glowing under the moonlight. The air here is gentle. I'm so into this dimension. It's weird how I can be physically in this room, but I'm also through the mirror. You know, as you do your scrying and perfecting, you'll find that you can be literally in two different worlds at the same time. Some of us a little bit here, some of us a little bit there. Isn't that beautiful? I hear I hear an owl hooting in the trees. Oh, he just flew down at my feet. I can see a beautiful, he's a white owl. And now he's flying up to a tree branch. He came to give me a greeting. How powerful. 
I'm in a magical realm, a place of great beauty and peace. Very high and advanced spirits dwell here. I see another person coming down the path. Could it be? Oh my God. There's a man approaching me. He has a very long beard and long hair. He's also in a long robe. It's a dark green robe, and he has a staff. It's also a stang, I notice. He's speaking to me. He said, come closer. I wish to impart wisdom to you. Yes, good sir. Who are you? He said, do you not recognize me? He said, I am Merlin, Merlin of old, who you have heard of. He said, don't look so shocked. I am a real person, and I can come to you. I cross many dimensions and times, and I am available for all who call upon me. He says, Kezra brought you the gift of the stang, and I shall bring you another gift. He's handing me some. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a massive, beautiful quartz crystal. He said, it's a Lemurian crystal. It shall come to you soon and will aid you in your spiritual travels and journey. Accept this from me, will you please, he says. And so I'm taking that into my hand. And I'm saying, yes, Merlin, I accept it. Thank you. He said, your time here must be short, for the power is not sufficient for you to stay longer. But know that you will return here in the future and stay longer, and I will guide you as well as will Kezra. I bid you adieu. He's just raising his hand. He's giving me a blessing. Thank you. And he's walking away now. He just turned back and he said, it's time for you to return. Go back now. Go back to your world. You'll come again. Thank you, Marla. Please tell Kezra thank you. And as I turn, I can see the doorway. It's strange. Even though I'm here, I'm there looking back into this room. So give me a moment while I fully reintegrate. <sighs> oh, <laughs> I should pull out a can. Oh, that's a lot of power. Well, I'm back in my body. Let me see if I can light this candle. Well, we'll bring up the lights in a minute. But I'm back. I'm back from the other world. Blessed be. I'm just putting out the candles now. I brought up the lights. Wow, that was an amazing experience. I really got a lot out of it. In fact, let me see if I'm putting more light. I can't see you guys. It's kind of dim in here. So. That was an amazing experience. You know, I would encourage you to explore the black mirror. There's so much to it, so much that you can get from it. I had an amazing experience tonight. I hope that you guys were we're enjoying this experience as well. And I thought it's something kind of different we haven't done in a long time. But I'm glad you're here. By the way, I'm wearing one of my silver pinnacles I dug out of my jewelry box. I've been polishing jewelry in between stuff today. This is one of my sterling silver pinnacles. I would encourage you, you know, when you do scrying, also wear sacred jewelry. Silver will attune you to your psychic senses, and it will also you know, keep you safe from harm especially pentacles or sacred Wiccan symbols. Anyways, guys, I'm not going to keep the, keep you long tonight. I just wanted to come here for a little while and share with you. Listen, um, got to tell you, uh, tomorrow's Sunday. Now, normally we have the witching hour, but I have some events that I have to attend tomorrow, so we're not going to have the show. We're not going to have the witching hour. Uh, so y'all will have to have a little, just one night without Psychic Bob, okay? So we will not have the witching hour, but we'll be back with that next Sunday. But, uh, you know, keep it here at Spiritual. Go back, watch some of the older videos. 
we'll have stuff for you. Anyways, guys, I'm glad you're here. And uh, listen, if you get a chance, pop over to my website, uh, psychicbob.com. Check out my, my work there, about my work as a psychic. Check out my books. If you want to get on my schedule for reading, the phone number's there. Give me a call, 703-825-3929. I'd love to sit with you. Well, guys, listen, thanks for being here. I love you. May you have a blessed Saturday night. Thanks for being here. I love you guys. We'll see you on Monday for Horoscopes. And until then, may you always blessed be.